Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and this is your weekly tarot guidance for the week of July the 18th through the 24th of 2016. Now, what do we have going on this week? All right. Well, first of all, we have a full moon coming up on the 19th in Capricorn, which is followed a couple days later by the sun entering Leo. Now, we're still working on the Mercury in Leo, which came in last week for a short stint until about the end of the month. All right. And we also have Venus in Leo until like August the 5th. So a little bit of a switch in the general feeling of things. And I'm hoping that it, that it helps some. All right. Because right now the world seems to be suffering from Mars going direct. Yeah. In Scorpio. That's a little bit troublesome. And I don't know how it's playing out in personal lives, but you know, that being held back for two and a half months is beginning to take its toll compared to last week, which was a, like a complete redirecting of your path of sorts. Like, Hey, guess what? Let's go this way. Uh, and all of a sudden, you know, here you are this week, like totally not, not so much in the dark, but in unknown territory, just unknown. Like you have no idea what's really coming. You're like, okay, I'm going this way now. Uh, I don't know what it means. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen. All right. Somebody please tell me that kind of a thing. And you're working on creating, um, it's not necessarily just about money, but things that pertain to your finances, whether it be your job or how you handle your finances, but you're doing so in a more positive fashion because for so long you've been in this like really trapped position. You know, everywhere I look, it's like you're unable to see your way out of it. But this shows me that there is this like, hey, I've got this. Hey, I could do this kind of thing that's going on. Like you're ready now, finally, to stand up for yourself and make your life fair. Like everywhere I look, ready to make it fair. And just the, the sense of not just organization that you hope to achieve, but that fairness that comes with it and the balance that you need in your life. You don't get it all fixed this week. But you're starting to think to yourself, hey, I'm on the right track because it's been a long, long haul. It's been really, really rough for some of you. It's been like five years and some it's been more. So it's really been extremely difficult that feeling stabbed in the back and so totally stressed out. Now, part of this not knowing. All right. Uh, I don't know. I guess the universe wants us to be surprised. I'm not sure. But, you know, it's like, what do you want? What do you really, really want? Now's the time to be thinking about it, you know, in July. Then maybe be going out and working on it to go and get it, okay? But there's this sort of, I, I almost want to say like a conflicting energy that can wear you out, you know, because with some matters, you're wanting to rush right in and, you know, Common sense is telling you, no, take your time, do the job right. It's very important. I, I, I kid you not, like, you know, it's just, you know, it, it almost becomes stressful in the sense that you're like, well, I just want to hurry up and get there. I want, I, you know, I got this far. I, I just, I, I, I want to do this. I want it all to be done. Like whatever you heard last week, whatever happened in your life, that set you off on this new path, you're here like, okay, I just, I don't want to be here anymore. Well, you're still here. <laughs> okay. That it, that's the bottom line. You're still here, but you're working your way to there. You're working on moving on. You know, I'm like, when I looked at these, I was like, okay. Cause I, I just dive right into them blind, you know? And I'm like, all right, this is unusual. So, you know, there's also a sense here of leaving behind a belief system. And I don't think it's like a religious belief system or anything like that. I think in the past, 
you may have doubted what you were capable of in your life. And you're realizing now you are that good. You are worth it. You can do it. And yes, pat yourself on the back because you've done things that others are standing there going, wow, can you believe he, she did, did all that? Like their life was falling apart. And here they are. Here they are, no matter what. But one of these days I'd like to do, has anybody ever seen that old, old show called Romper Room and the woman has the mirror and like, I see Dick and I see Jane and you know, and she had her, had her mirror holding it up. I'd love to be able to do like a little story time with everybody and use fake names and talk about all of the things that are going on. But of course I won't, but it, it just reminds me of that. Like if some of you could hear the stories of what others have been through. It would give you the strength and the courage to pick yourself up and do what you need to do to go forward because change is possible no matter how bad things are. And if the universe levels your life, you just clean the slate and you start over again. So there's a lot here, but this is showing me that, you know, like with the full moon, time to let some more things go time to walk away from more and part of it is you know like forgetting about some of the stress it's not that it doesn't exist it's that you're accomplishing things you're making things better for the future like working on your happiness so mm, your little like I want to say back and forth you know with emotions also juggling not so much with finances but yeah you know what do you have to do what are you trying to work out there's something going on like okay let me see how I can handle this this week it's something different for everyone but emotionally you're so much more prepared for it and you know looking cool as a cucumber while you do it and it's kind of like that go with the flow feeling so I want to say that this week, there, it, it's not as much that a door closes. It's kind of like a door opens, a new hallway. More like a new hallway emerges, all right? Because you're exploring some new unknown territory here. And it's going to take a little time. I still say like October where things are feeling better better like like you've arrived at a place that you've been trying to get to um you know here again it is something different for everyone some of you by then will be divorced some of you by then will have figured out your financial mess others may finally have a home to live in a roof over their head there's so much going on out there in the world and everybody has problems, everybody has issues, and everybody has something that they're trying to figure out and trying to do. And I really think that when we get past that eclipse on September 16th, that people's lives start to improve in ways that they just couldn't imagine. You know, I, it, it's amazing to me because you're as you put that season behind you, all right. Oh, wait a minute. This is a weekly, huh? Maybe I shouldn't say anything. Nah, but as you put that season behind you, you know, in that third week in September, you're, you're just starting to feel more carefree. All right. Because that's when you, like, like I said, you're kind of opening doors, but they're not, it's kind of like going down different hallways, checking things out, working on plans. All right finding your way i want to say i see it like a maze like finding your way through the maze and you know don't try to stay too long in one spot okay there's a tendency when suddenly you think some something feels a little better to just sort of go like okay that's it i'm not moving i'm going to stay right here and you can't always do that but i do really feel that come late September, early October, 
that feeling of positivity returns. Okay. There are some big endings that are happening. Big endings. But you know what big endings bring? Beautiful new beginnings. All right. And then you're saying to yourself, I did it. I did it. Like you can rise above whatever was going on. That's important. And you, you will and you have. And it's amazing. But what this week is about is that sense of self. That realizing. Like when you really stop and you think about it. Like tune in. Tune into your inner voice and say, wow, okay, I remember when life was like this, and this was horrible. Look where I am today. Okay, this happened, this changed, and whatever happened last week has sort of shifted things in a direction that you didn't anticipate, or maybe you only hoped for, but it's there. And now you're going off in this other direction, okay? So you've been diverted a little bit. Some very good opportunities coming in this week. There are things, again, coming in out of the blue. I have a feeling this is going to keep happening um, for whatever reason. You know, could be due to the impending eclipses because we have one in August and two in September. But, you know, you're just busy trying to find not so much the light at the end of the tunnel, just to keep following the light. Because at this point, you should have figured out that you're being guided somewhere. See, I see you here in the beginning, like, okay, I don't know where you're taking me, but I'll play. I'll play along. I'll go. And because it's interesting at this point, isn't it? Amazing things have been happening. And... Just to figure out where you are and what you're doing, all of that, you know, it's it's amazing to me. So I'm like, what do we have here? You know, your vision. Almost as if to say that when, ah, oh boy, I'm like tongue-tied here because I can like see it happening. Like an idea. It, it's like an idea. It involves a lot of work, but whatever it is, I think it's time to put down more cards because I'm looking at this and I'm like, wow, if everybody had a wonderful idea all at once, all right? And, then, and this is probably right around the full moon, okay? You're going to be getting your details together. It's like having a very creative vision. Oh, I'm liking this because the extra cards are backing up the other cards. Let me tell you, folks, all right? Very interesting indeed. Very interesting. So, you know, here you are. Not just about change, but like wanting to talk to people about your changes. Wanting to, yeah. Wanting to get this whole show on the road. You're doing things this week. So if you suddenly go, oh, that's it. That's what I'll do. <laughs> I'm like, then you're setting off to do it. And it's just whatever. And it's almost as if to say that whatever you're like leaving behind at the full moon, maybe it frees you up in some sense to work on something else. That's an interesting concept. There's something going on here. And like I said, for everybody, this is different. But there's that feeling of being free from all of the delays. So I'm really liking this. You know, be patient with yourself. Always be patient with yourself, okay? Because not everything happens overnight. It's important to keep your emotions balanced. You know, there's still that sense of, you know, like I said, with Mars around. You know, words are flying. And, you know, the, not being in the middle of that. Just kind of take your... What do you want to call it? Just be in charge of you. Okay? Don't try to be in charge of anyone else. Just be in charge of you and work on your forward movement. I want another card. Because there is so much going on. Yeah. Change. It's all about change. And when you realize 
the things that you're capable of changing. Because I, I really think at some point this week, there has to be some form of reflection more than once here where you're thinking about what has happened in your life and what you're no longer willing to settle for in your life and how you're going to go about making these changes. So you still have a couple months of juggling left, but I'm telling you there's a much happier, more peaceful feeling by October. So, you know, the stars, however they do it, you know, none of us know the answer to that. But there's definitely a huge transition that's coming for everyone out there. And I, for one, am amazed, like amazed at everything. But you have to basically, you know, be paying attention and seize the moment and make the changes as they come. But there, there's some wonderful things here. And there's some things here that are like, oh boy. But I kind of think that that light bulb goes off at some point during the week. And you might be making more work for yourself. But if you delegate some of it and get it in the hands of the right people, then you can more than likely pull off whatever this brilliant idea is that you have going. Because it's a lucrative one, whether it's financial or it just brings you great recognition. Uh, there, there is something happening here. So it's not manifesting itself as much in the physical world this week. But what takes place in your thoughts this week and, you know, in your mind as far as conceptual ideas there's a lot like the possibilities are endless and I think that this is just the tip of the iceberg and you don't even know it yet okay you've been afraid <laughs> to look at that unknown all right but you will be soon enough all right you will be I'm, I'm telling you by you know by the time we reach that eclipse on September 16th you're going to have no choice but to be facing everything that's happening and, and suddenly going, whew, like the, it's like a sigh of relief, okay? Big difference, big, big difference. That's why I said by October, things are feeling better. So I want to thank you all for listening and I'll see you here again next week. Take care.